Hello there, welcome to another episode of the Allotment Dram. This is a series of short videos where we sit and talk about different whiskies in the surroundings of our North London allotment. Join me here on a, well, slightly overcast, uh, slightly cool day. Uh, but you know, it's certainly not stopped me uh, doing a few odd jobs here and there, a bit of weeding. Also planted um, these uh, broad beans uh, that will be ready for the springtime. So you, you basically plant them now, they grow a bit before it gets too cold. Then they stop and just gives them a bit of a head start for the springtime. So these will be ready in you know, maybe end of, uh, end of April, start of May sort of time. Um, but uh, of course, while that's very interesting, you know, giving you gardening tips, uh, I am here to talk about whiskey and what is it today? Uh, what is my allotment dram? And it's very interesting whiskey. It's a slightly sort of conceptual whiskey, let's say. I don't really say that very often, but this is a whiskey called Dalla Ruin, which is by a company called the Lost Distillery Company. And their concept is to basically try and recreate whiskies from distilleries that have closed. And most cases of the distilleries they've picked uh, it's really a very long time ago that they've closed. So in the case of Dalla Ruin, you know, this closed 1925. It was a Campbelltown distillery and was really a victim of this big crash. You know, Campbelltown was a thriving uh, community for whiskey, you know, over 30 distilleries you know, in the Victorian era. But, uh, you know, that crashed to literally two or three, a handful, uh, within a couple of decades of the, the 20th century. So, you know, Dalaroon was one of the victims. And, and so, yeah, really interesting concept. Uh, it's uh, what's called a blended malt. And, you know, some of you might be saying, well, what's a blended malt? Is that a blend or is it a single malt? Well, it's neither, actually. It's... Uh, a marriage of different single malts from different distilleries and these could be a different ages different uh, types of casts for the maturation uh, then married together to create what's called a blended malt so there's no single grain as there is with a traditional blend you know something like uh, Johnny Walker or Shivers Regal uh, that has a percentage of single grain. There's no single grain in this or any other blended malt. It's literally just uh, single malts from different distilleries. So, of course, what's interesting about this whole concept is that, you know, the Dalla Ruin closed 95 years ago, so there's no way they could, the Lost Distillery Company could know what the flavour of the whiskey from that distillery would be like or from any of the other distilleries that they've chosen to to sort of uh, recreate so there is a bit of artistic license of course um, but you know that's quite interesting again quite conceptual uh, and really gives sort of free license so I mean who knows if this tastes like a Campbelltown or Dalla Ruin from the 1920s or before that but um, let's have a taste and a smell shall we so here it is, you see, you know, a lovely sort of uh, pale, uh, sort of golden yellow colour. And uh, let's have a smell. Yeah, it's got a lovely sort of freshness and, and vibrancy to it. It's really sweet. It's got a lovely, slightly confected sweetness, like icing sugar. Or well, that sort of royal icing that you get on uh, like Christmas cake or something like that. And then there's some honey and, and some vanilla in there. And then there's this really striking like, candied citrus notes, like lemons and limes. And the combination of that and the, this sort of icing sugar uh, confectionery feel is just. This reminds me of green jelly babies and I don't think I've ever had a note like that in a whiskey before. You know, it's really curious. Makes makes me want to have a taste now, so so let's go. Hmm. And that freshness is there again. 
that sort of sugary, confected sweetness. There's also a hint of sort of maltiness and a sort of whiff of um, quite soft, gentle peat smoke there actually, which wasn't really detectable. Wasn't really detectable on the nose. Uh, maybe yeah, because the whiskey is a bit of a cold day, so maybe the whiskey's a little bit a little bit cold in the glass, but yeah, you can't really detect that, but it's definitely there, giving this sort of earthy, slightly savoury quality in the background. And uh, let's have another taste, actually. Mm. And then sort of encasing all of that is this sort of green, this green jelly baby, lemon and lime, sort of note. It makes it really juicy, really vibrant, really interesting. It's, yeah, it's almost like, I, I, I'm trying to think with my knowledge of casks and spirit type and whatever, how that flavour could get into the bottle and into the glass, but um, it's sort of beyond me, but you know, curious, but curiously enjoyable. It's just, um, you not really like any other whiskey ever tried to be honest but um yes i mean search it out you you can find the lost distillery company and you know selected uh, specialist retailers uh, they also do a mini pack so you can try some of the different styles in the little five cls but um yeah in really in really interesting and a, as i say a really interesting sort of project that they've they've put together so from myself and the dalla ruin from the lost distillery company We'll bid you farewell. We're going to get on with some more weeding now. And uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.